Saturday, May 18th, 2024. Finally got me a pretty car to work on. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I told her I have it here by 7. She had it here by like 7 o'clock the previous day, p.m., but I needed it by a.m. But this is my... The red that I love when I see him driving down the interstate. I'm like, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. So I can't wait to work on this one. This car is already... I need to clay it, obviously, but it's uh, I asked her to run through the wash. She ran through the wash for me, and it's practically clean. But I can't wait to get this one done. I'm just gonna told her so. This is not gonna take me much. I'm gonna just do a light little polish on it and put some, some protection on it and get this done. So like I said, uh, I'm gonna have to get the uh, get the wheels done first. And give it a wash and clay. Get in the garage, probably an orange pad, and I'll figure out the polish in a little bit. But yeah, it's just morning dew, so it's not big spot. So you know, there's I'm gonna say probably nothing on here other than just bare paint. But yeah, I'm gonna get this thing knocked out and get some. You can kind of see this. Let's do it just like that. Barely any little spider webs on here, like very, very fine little lines. Hopefully, you can see that through the camera. And I'm really not even worried about taking those. I'll get those out a little bit, hopefully. But for that reason, I'm going to go with an orange pad. So probably just an orange pad and some polish. I might even do a all-in-one. You can either Grio's ceramic three-in-one or ceramic all-in-one. I'm thinking some Uno Protect with some possible bean maker to, to take it off with. <clears throat> or maybe just a polish polish and I'll put something else on top of it. But, yeah. Other than little chips like that one. The chips are obvious. They're just white specks. So, yeah, let me get right on it. This one I can't wait for. More later. Here we go. <clears throat> So, as you can kind of see, let me see, let me get my light out, it's always easier, maybe. So, right about here where my thumb is at, let's see if the light, light, there you go. No, that's my thumbprint now. <laughs> let me zoom in a little bit, find my smudge, there we go. You can see it real quick, um, I'm going to get my smudge off now, but it's got little things on it, little bug parts i'm gonna try to get those little etchings out with some stuff here's some more right up here up front it's got this slight little scratch right there probably like in my lights more bug stuff right around there but other than that i mean look literally no scratches down the side there's no scratches i mean there are some slight scratches but for somebody that has never had this done. I don't know if the person before this. I think they bought it used. Like there you go. You can kind of see vague little bitty scratches. I'm I'm not here to take those out. I'm here to get this paint popping. It's the Mazda red that I like. See them on the interstate. I'm like, ooh, there's that red. Tesla has one now, but it just costs too much money for me to get one on ours. I'll take the freebie. Oh, look, at, there's some scratches right there. Let me see. If I, look. Come on there, light. All right, I might spend a little bit of time here. There's a little bit more pressure. Goodness gracious. Aiming and aiming. There we go. All right, but other than that, I mean, that's also right around the, the door frame. So people probably putting it stuff in and out. Um, yeah, I've already got four orange pads out. Oh, my gosh. Back to 1x. I've already got four orange pads out because I'm not worried about these superficial little bitty minor scratches. You water drip. But that's that. I am going to choose my polish in a little while. Don't know if I'm going to go an all in one or just a polish, polish, and then coat it with something else. I'm still deciding. I'll. Be back and let you know what I decide. So I had to 
use a little Jersey bug scrubber. And I don't know if you can, let me change the light. Yeah, no, look, it's a good light. You can see the little, I caused those marks because I had to get the bugs off. Um, let me kind of, I had to do it over here too. I don't know if the, the camera's going to pick this up, but yeah, it picks it up pretty good. I decided to go ahead and give it a little polish and it's looking beautiful. My little scratches I induced are gone. Anything else that was there is gone. Let me come, come down here. You can maybe see where I, yep. And then boop, it's clearing up. It's very noticeable to me, hopefully on the camera as well. All right, so, ooh, looking right here. I really caused some, ah, it, I caused some super duper light little marks. I'm not worried about them. All right, well, that's the plan. So let me get out of my pocket. So I'm going some Uno Protect, like I kind of thought I was going to, just because it's going to be easier. Use Uno Protect and some old trusty bead maker to take the Uno Protect off. So I'm going to get the whole car done with the Uno Protect, then come back around again and then wipe it off with bead maker. And that's, I'm going to do it. Hey Google, what time is it? 8.30. All right, 8.30. Let's see what time I can get done with the uh, polish. Back later. Sneaking up on it because it's so shiny, don't want it to run away. Like a shiny Pokemon. There we go. Look at that red now. I hope the camera picks up as good as my eyes are. Ooh-wee. Oh my goodness. That is fantastic. Look at that. Oh, I might need to wipe it down a little bit, but I'm not really too worried about it. Look at that. There's barely any lines in it. And that's with the one little one-step polish. Three passes. I might go get a towel and wipe it down one more time on the hood. There we go.